Hello, I'm Black Bright, and here comes trouble, I guess. Um, no, I'm only joking. Um, if it's the first time you're visiting my channel, welcome, subscribe, like, share. Yeah, um, on our screens is all about politics, isn't it? You know, who's going to be the next Prime Minister? And it's made to believe that we are a part of the process. You'd believe that we were, wouldn't you? Because the way that they're kind of telling us everything that's happening, what's wrong with each candidate, what's right with each candidate. You know, it's as though we are involved in the process and we have a say in the process when we don't. I don't even know why they're sharing the process with us when it's all done by um, the Conservative Party. They make the choice. They decide who's going to be president. And we'll know soon enough, very soon. But the thing is, is that Trump has already endorsed um, Boris Johnson. So very, 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 very likely he's going to be president because without saying so, they have to go through the protocol. You know those organisations who know who they're going to recruit, but they have to go through the interview process anyway? It's a bit like that. They have to go through the formality, even though they know who they want as prime minister. The only thing is, I, I just think that they are trying to remind us how helpless we are with what's going on with our government, with what's going on in our country, with what's going on in the world. It's just a gentle reminder that you just sit and round and watch peeps and watch us bring the country down. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it. That's basically what all this is about. OK, so today, Savage Javid got booted out. And my friend, what's my friend's name? The one that I kind of liked, Rory Stewart. I kind of liked him, even though I think he was the best out of the bunch. From my opinion, he seemed OK. But nothing is what it seemed. Well, Savage Javid, there's no way they're going to have somebody who looks like an immigrant running Britain. No way in hell. I don't even know why he put himself through the process. It's not going to happen. And you see Trump, he's down on Sadiq Khan, isn't he? Talking about how he's a national disgrace because of the slaughters on our streets. What about the slaughter in, in America? Why doesn't, he, why doesn't he worry about that? What is he doing about that? He's not doing squat about it. So how, how dare he come down on Sadiq Khan? But we all know what that's about. You don't have to say it. We know what that's about. And it's the same thing why Savvy Javid cannot be Prime Minister. It's just not going to work. How does someone who looks like an immigrant get rid of immigrants, even though he's tried his best to not behave like an immigrant? His role in the hostile environment policy was very, very severe. But there again, he could have been a puppet. We don't know. But anyway, he'll soon find out very, very quickly that he's no different from us, us ones with this colour skin. He's not no different. And he's going to find that out soon enough. Britain or no Britain. Legal or no, not legal. You're all bumped into the same basket. So I don't see why he, he probably thinks he's quite privileged because he's got that far. It doesn't matter. When push comes to shove, you're all the same. Anyway, let me stop ranting about that. Brexit is planned for the 31st of October, as we all know. Um, Boris Johnson, as of today, had 157 votes. Michael Gove had 61 votes. Jeremy Hunt had 59 votes. And even though Jeremy Hunt had less votes than Michael Gove, I've got a funny feeling he's going to be within the first two. Michael Gove, mm -mm -mm. I can't see him. I can't even see him competing with Boris Johnson. Um, let me see what else. How does the Conservative leadership work? So I know you'll probably pull, put holes in this, tear me apart. But hey, I'm not perfect. I don't claim to be an expert. I'm just putting my little two cents worth in, remember? I'm just giving you food for thought. So... Let's not nitpick. As long as I've got the general understanding, 
that should be good enough. OK, this is for those who don't understand politics and you can guide us in the right direction. If I've made a mistake, I'm happy for you to correct me, but do it in a nice way. You know, you don't have to be mean. You don't have to be hostile. You don't have to jump in and like, oh, you know, you idiot or you bloody this and shut your mouth and all that. It's not necessary. We're all decent people on this platform. OK, so, OK, I'm going to give you what I think is how conservative leadership works. And I'm going to read it out. OK, so candidates put themselves forward to vote. That's the first thing. The Conservative Parliament whittles it down with the least popular being knocked out in each row, in each round. That's, of course, Savage Javid today and Rory Stewart. Um, today, 313 Conservative MVs w voted on candidates um, until they are down to the final three. But when is that taking place? I think it's taking, not sure if it's today. I think it's today, you know. I'm pretty sure I saw something that it was happening live today. So maybe it's whittled down already. By the time you watch this video, you probably know who the final two are. But I don't know yet. OK, um, like I said, I guess that Hunt and Johnson will remain, but who knows, Gove might get in there. Um, 1,600 of the paying members of the Conservative Party are allowed to vote. Um, because the Conservatives are already in government, they decide who the Prime Minister will be. The general electorate media have no influence unless they pay to join the Conservative Party. Although Trump may have, even though he has not supposed to, endorsed Boris Johnson. So we, the original 10 candidates, we've had it on our screens, but I'll just rush through them. Boris Johnson, Jeremy Hunt, Savit Javid, Matt Hancock, who pulled out, Michael Gove, Dominic Raab, Rory Stewart, Esther, Mc, Esther McPhee, Obey, Andrea Ledson, Mark Harper, they weren't going to allow another woman to get in there. They've had their nut. They've had the, they've given the female their little platform. As far as they're concerned, they did that to console us. Um, Theresa May was a scapegoat. So now they've done their little bit. They're back to the patriarchal, how it should be, the white patriarchal platform. That's what all this is about. And um, let's see. Yeah, I think the new Prime Minister will take over on the 22nd of July. So I'm not going to babble on about this because you probably had um, politics since coming out of your ears and you probably had all of this. Boris Johnson, Michael Gove, Jeremy Hunt coming out of your ears. So we'll just have to sit back. We don't have a say. So I don't even know why that it's, in, you know, we're being bombarded with it on the TV screens and in the newspapers, pages and pages and pages when we can't participate and we don't have a say. Maybe they just want us to um, feel as though we're participating. They want us to um, have a little say to make it look as though those we're involved. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's as simple as that. I don't know. I don't really care. There's nothing I can do about it. The world will go on as normal for a little while. Bye for now.